Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you all my everyday makeup routine, which is this look right here. And yeah, let's get started. So first I'm going to be putting on some sort of lip balm or chapstick. Um, I've been using the uh, Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Shea Butter Vegan Lip Balm. It's super moisturizing. I really like it a lot. Also, my mirror is right here, so if I'm like looking this way and not looking at the camera, I'm sorry. Next, I'm going to take a little spoolie brush and I like to comb my eyebrows up and then over. And then after that, I'm going to take a Morphe M165 brush. And I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde, and I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. So the way I do it, I'm really bad at eyebrows, but um, I start at the bottom and try to make a line, and then I go to the top and make another line to kind of make the shape of my eyebrow. I just kind of fill in the spots where my eyebrows need filled in and they always look super dark when I first do them. I'm just gonna do my other eyebrow. So yeah, this is what they look like. They look really bad. Um, I'm really bad at eyebrows. I take this little e.l.f. brush. It says e.l.f. professional concealer brush. Then I use this random concealer that I have from my Ipsy. It's the Koki Professional Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. And I'm gonna take this and line the bottom and the top of my eyebrow and then blend it out. And I look really crazy after I do this, but once I put foundation on, it'll look normal. So I just kind of put dots on the bottom to get like all the concealer off my brush because I don't wanna put it all in the same place. And then I just line my eyebrows and then blend it up. And I'll do the same to the bottom. So there's one. Then we're gonna do the other one. So after I do that, I look a little crazy. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Reduce Redness Primer. Just put that everywhere. So after I do that, I'm gonna take my foundation. I use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation in the shade 280. I'm gonna use this Morphe makeup sponge. I'm just gonna put it all over my face and blend it out. After I blend out all my foundation, I'm gonna use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade. 27B light medium beige. It's almost out. I have a new one, but I'm trying to finish out this one. I'm just gonna put some under my eyes, a line on my nose, a line on my chin, covering up my breakouts, and then I put a little arrow on my forehead. I'm just gonna blend that out with my beauty blender. After my concealer is on, it looks really bad on the camera. I swear it doesn't look like this in person. But I use the airspun powder. And I'm just going to put that over all of the places that I just put concealer on. While I look a little crazy and this sits on my face, I normally do my eye makeup. So first, I like to take this random like banana powder that I got in an Ipsy and a Morphe Jaclyn Hill 30 blending brush and I just use that to kind of set my eyelids and to um, kind of be a base to put eyeshadows on. Even when I don't wear eyeshadow, I will usually still put this on my eyelids just so that like my foundation doesn't crease. So I've been trying to use kind of different makeup than like my everyday typical products. So today I'm going to try to do a look with this little baby Morphe palette I have. It's the 12NB. So I'm going to start with this Morphe Jaclyn Hill 33 brush and use these two shades right here. 
and start those in my crease. This might turn out really bad because I am nowhere near a professional or a makeup artist or anything. I just kind of do it for fun. So this could turn out good. This could turn out really bad. We don't know. We're just going to find out. Next, I'm going to take this shade, blend that into the same spot I just put the last two shades. So now I'm going to take a Morphe Chaplin Hill 40 brush and take this dark shade over here, blend that out in my outer corner. And then I'm going to take this same 33 brush from before and use this shade again and blend that all out. So next, I'm going to be using my MAC Queen Supreme palette and this just has a bunch of shimmer shades that I like to use. And then I'm also going to use a Morphe Jaclyn Hill 41 brush. Like I'm going to use this coppery looking color right here and just put that on the um, like inner half of my eyelid. And then I'm going to take this random brush, this highlighter right here, and use that on my inner corner and to highlight my brow bone. And then I'm going to take this Maybelline Master Precise All Day Liquid Eyeliner and I just get it in black and I'm just going to do a thin line of eyeliner. So now I'm going to take this big fluffy brush and just dust off all the powder off my face. And then I'm going to take this Farah Contour Brush Matte Bronzer. And I don't really contour but I use bronzer to contour kind of. And just blend that gonna get a little bit on the sides of my nose and then around my forehead and then I'm gonna take um the Ciate London I'm not sure how to say that brand um this is like a, a blush and a highlighter kind of it's in the shade matchmaker and I've been really loving this lately so I just put that on my cheeks and a little bit on my nose and then I'm going to take this Morphe Jaclyn Hill 09 brush and put a little highlighter on. I'm going to use this IBY highlighter in the shade 24 Carat Magic. I don't think I've ever used this before, actually. And then I'm going to take this little Morphe Jaclyn Hill 42 brush and use this shade and put that under my eyes. And then I'm going to use the Morphe Mattifying Continuous Setting Mist and just spray my face. And then I'm going to use the CoverGirl Lash Blast Primer and put that on my eyelashes. And then I'm going to let that dry for a minute or so. And now I'm going to use the Tarte Man Eater Mascara and put that on my top and bottom eyelashes. And that is my daily makeup routine. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Remember to hit the like button and the subscribe button down below and comment some more videos that you guys want to see.